So uh, today it's a great um, honor and I'm really pleased uh, to, to bring to you one of the universities that I really love because I have been sending students there for over 20 years for masters and MBAs. And I'm very happy the strides that this university has done for undergraduate studies. And I've seen the work they have done, their actual work on my students. Uh, so Barbara, thank you for being with us. The floor is yours. Tell us some things about Bocconi and yourself maybe. So talking about talking about myself, yes, I'm I'm the guidance recruitment officer. I was working for, for Bocconi since 1999. So if you are good at math, guys, it's about 22 years. And I was in charge for domestic market first, and then I was in charge for master as well, and then master and undergrad, and now only to undergrad. So as you can see, I, I know very well all the aspects about Bocconi, just in case you are interested in other type of programs and all the secrets Bocconi can have. So this is what you can see. Okay, this is a, one of the main Bocconi buildings. Bocconi has different buildings. First of all, thinking that Bocconi is uh, located pretty close to the center, city center of Milan. So if you are familiar with Milan and you know the Navigli area, the canals area, we are exactly located in that part, which is in the south of Milan. Milan is built like a circle. So it's easy to go around by walk, by public transportation, by car, even if the traffic is a little bit uh, difficult, better than in Athens, let me tell you. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing university where to stay, where to study, where to live as well. Uh, most of the parents would like to know what kind of programs you're off offering for the bachelor. Because okay. there are some new programs now. Yes. So this is the this is the list of the program we offer. So Bocconi thinking that is a business school first. So we were founded by Ferdinando Bocconi, which was an entrepreneur. If you've been to Milan, uh, just a curiosity for you, you for sure visited the, the shop, big shopping mall like in front of the cathedral, in front of the Duomo, which is called La Rinascente. But Ferdinando Bocconi was the founder and then the owner of this uh, shopping mall. Why? Because he was thinking that uh, all the uh, staff and people, employees were working over there, they need some knowledge in terms of management. So that's why later they decided to found a university related to business. That's why Bocconi is also very well known for management, finance, management for arts, culture and communication. This is the big family of management and this is the three years bachelor programs. Then in the last uh, past uh, four years, five years, we decided to expand our knowledges and that's why we decided to found international politics and government, economics and social sciences uh, program. And this is the family of economics for people who are very quantitative, for people here who really loves these two different aspects, which means for politics and government, which is not international relations guy, but it's something related to econ and politics, e politics history, for example. Okay, that's are the two subjects and main subjects you're gonna study. And uh, of course, if you want to work in an uh, NGO, embassy consulate, you can study at that program. But of course you have to integrate with the master of science in something related to this. Then we have the, the, the other family, which is economics, management and computer science and mathematical and computing sciences for artificial intelligence. In particular, this one, it's a new program just launched two years ago. And it's the news. We didn't know about the pandemic, of course. A lot of students are really interested in uh, studying artificial intelligence because this is the future, but also related to computer science. The two program, the, the main difference between the two programs, computer science and AI, it's because uh, uh, computer science is much more focused also on business. So managing data mm, and working in a company, Google, Facebook, all you can imagine all now we are all connected via internet you can imagine how many data how many uh, conversations so someone has to manage but you need also some business management knowledges difference from artificial intelligence where of course you have to be a super big fan of math i tell you plus uh, physics okay so physics is also important for this uh, course all of these programs last three years 
a part of the World Bachelor in Business, which is a unique program around the world who lasts four years with, and it's in partnership with USC, University of Southern California, HKST, University of Science and Technology in Hong Kong, which means you study the first year in Los Angeles, the second one in Hong Kong, the third year in Milan, and the fourth one in one of the three universities most likely. We teach you how to do business. All right. three different if, continent. One thing that I have to say about Bocone is that uh, always it's in front. Like for example, the two last programs it, it are what the market requires. So the Bocconi University listens to the market and introduces programs. And this is one of the aspects of Bocconi that I really admire. And this is really, really interesting. And uh, because new programs, why do you introduce new programs? Because the market wants these two programs. It's very interesting. And as well as the World Bachelor in Business program, uh, which is also very interesting because you have the chance to go to three different universities. Um, you know, Barbara, I wanted to ask you because the audience is Greek students. Uh, what are the entry uh, requirements uh, for Greek students? How can a Greek student apply? What does he need to have? So we don't have uh, specific uh, requirements for specific nationalities. So the requirements are the same for all the students, okay, coming from different parts of the world, coming from different parts of uh, diploma. So in general, we ask school reports of your second to last and third to last year, which means if you are doing the IB program, we ask for your grade 10 and grade 11. If you spend your grade 10 at, at the Lycio, I don't remember the pronunciation, but it's uh, like a Greek Lyceum, okay? Lyceum, we, we do, okay, we do a mix. So grade 10 from the Lyceum, grade 11 maybe from the IB, and then grade 12 also from the IB. Hmm? No mm -hmm. problem at all. This has happened to us. No, it, it's quite uh, frequently from, from Greece. Then we ask for SAT or ACT or Bocconi test. For the SAT results score, we are not. We will be not test optional. Okay, maybe you heard it about a lot of um, American universities, Canadian universities will be test optional. Uh, Bocconi will be not because we think that uh, we need uh, something in order to put in the same way the students in order to say you can be in, you cannot be in. Mm? Apart grades, of course. So results of the SAT or better score of the SAT is about thirteen hundred and fifty or more. As a, uh, sorry, ACT, it's about 27, 29, uh, 28, Bocconi test administrated online. So you cannot, you don't have to fly from uh, Greece uh, to, to Milan, just stay at home, your comfort zone, and uh, you will follow the procedures uh, uh, with the admissions officer gonna give it to you and you sit the Bocconi test. Just in case I know you are registered for the SAT or ACT, and will be cancelled because of the pandemic, uh, the unique opportunity you're going to have is Bocconi test. In order to exercise a bit for the Bocconi test, you will find a simulation test on the website. You can refer to Ms. Peppy just in case to help you. She knows very well how to, uh, how, how to help. And then, of course, good luck because it's always a test. Okay. Uh, the other element of evaluation is the curriculum vitae and personal statement, motivational letter, which is uh, easy to write. It could be just one page, one page enough. Try to find a connection why I would like to study at Bocconi. Please don't write that. My, my family has a business in Milano, so I really wanted to come to Milano. Great, but it's not enough. I tell you because I saw in the past and I heard it a lot about this uh, uh, phrase, so it's not enough, okay? Try to convince the program director, the admissions officer, I'm not the admissions officer, I'm just to tell you what is the best things to do in order to prepare your motivational letter. Then last but not least, if you are doing a Lyceum, so you're gonna finish with a Greek Lyceum, you, you need to prove that you speak English, which means you have to, to send us an English language certificate, IELTS, TOEFL, first certificate, first certificate, Cambridge, whatever you want, but it's important to have it, okay? If you are doing the IB diploma, you don't need to show us an English certificate because, of course, the IB certifies that you 100% uh, speaker, English speaker. If you do the American high school diploma, the same. 
no problem, no English certificates, okay? Keep in mind what, that when you apply, in, you can put a maximum four choices. So, for example, if you're interested in management and finance, which have the same study plan on the first two year, first, uh, first year, first year, first year and a half, you can switch to a program to another one. For example, I'm admitted in management, but I really want to do finance. You can ask for a switch of the program. It's really nice. I didn't know about that. So you can change. Um, yeah, it was well in the last uh, past two, two, three years. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you can do that. Of mm -hmm. course, uh, you cannot change if, uh, you, if you put uh, management, finance, and then artificial intelligence and uh, politics and government. You are admitted in politics and government. Of course, uh, you cannot change to management because you perfectly understand the two, the two programs, they don't speak each other. They don't have the same more or less study plan. Of course, you're going to integrate a lot of exams, which is uh, quite difficult. Hmm? So uh, just uh, to recap uh, what uh, Barbara said, if you are uh, attending the Greek Lyceum program, yeah, you can you can apply, but you need also the Veveusi processes, which means you have to sit for the Panhellenic exams. They don't require a specific grade for that, but this is for the Italian government to grant you access to the Italian universities. So this is the one idea. And as you see, you need your grades from your 10th grade, okay? Like uh, uh, first of uh, Liceum, uh, keep that in mind so you will not uh, forget about that. So it's really important to send your grades. So for those of you who are in the first class of Liceum, work hard and also as uh, Barbara uh, put it for the SAT or the ACT or the Bocconi test it's just a test but they say it's uh, 1350 for example for the SAT for you to have but this is the minimum to evaluate maybe your application uh, the more you have the better it, it, it doesn't mean that if you have 1350 they're going to accept you because you know they're going to see other things and that's Barbara really nicely put it. Uh, you don't say, I want to come to Milan because my father has a business there or whatever, or because I've been to Milan many times. You have to make yourself uh, uh, to prove why this program is important to you and why Bocconi. It's the important thing, why Bocconi and this program. No general things, I want to come to Bocconi because it's uh, one of the best universities and because I like uh, fashion and I want to go shopping in Milan, which I haven't done anyways. Well, anyways, <laughs> so, um, you know, Barbara, the next question that many, many parents would like to have an answer to is about uh, the, uh, the scholarships or the financial aid that you offer and how can somebody uh, who wants to come to Milan, but uh, wants to come to Bocconi, but now with all the situation would like to have some help for that. Uh, sure. Uh, I would like to tell you that, of course, uh, you can profit of the opportunity. I don't know why. My slide is not to work. I saw some question about related to SAT scores uh, and application timelines. I'll get back to you in a second. So uh, talking about the fees and funding. Uh, so yes, so um, Bocconi costs 13,000 euro per year. This is the maximum price uh, you're gonna pay at Bocconi, but it depends on the family income. So that's why Bocconi, I think is fair enough. Uh, it's not uh, a fixed price. But we, I repeat, because it depends on the family income, you have to show to our, to, you have to show to our admission, uh, sorry, fees office, uh, income and properties and other documents that you can find on the fees page. I don't want to be very, because they are very technical. I don't want to give you wrong information. So let's say that uh, it depends on the uh, family incomes and properties. So you can pay from 5,000 until 13,000, because we have four different income brackets. It depends, I repeat, on the income. Mm? So, which is, uh, you do your calculation at home, uh, I can send the link, no problem at all. About, so, about funding, yes, we have it. We, are, we work a lot on it in the past years, uh, because, uh, we, of course, uh, we want to be we want to help family in particular if we have a very good grades. That's why it was underlined a lot, uh, for example, the results of the SAT and grades. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you can be eligible to have a Bocconi Merit Awards who can cover 100% of the cost and you can stay in the dorms. Mm -hmm. Then international awards can cover 50% of the cost 
and again you can stay in the door then we have need-based scholarship you can ask because again it depends on your family income okay and we have a student's loan student's loan are available for eu citizen from two most important banks we have in italy and for sure you and also around the world unicredit and intesa san paolo so just in case uh, you can profit of these opportunities i see and uh, i see that uh, you asked questions so i saw a question about somebody asking if you accept the abitur the german ib of course you oh that. yes of course so we have we have set uh, all type of uh, diploma so i was mentioning the ib the american the french because uh, these are the three main uh, uh, diplomas we're gonna have in Pocconi, but of course uh, we need we upset also the abitur definitely yes so we have students coming from uh, different parts of the world, world with the german schools and from germany or austria for example so no problem at all yes all right and, and another thing that i think is also interesting where do students stay when they come uh, to study at Bocconi? What are in our places? fantastic and beautiful dorms oh. because Bocconi has 2000 door 2000 places sorry 2000 dorms is too much 2000 door 2000 places yes. in eight dorms i told you Bocconi is pretty close to the city center we are downtown but milan is built like a circle and Bocconi built their dorms in around the main building where the students are going to have uh, lectures one two of them are on campus uh, so you can choose a different type of accommodation you choose the the dorm you choose the room if you want to share the dorm with other uh, free students in total is four if you want to stay alone uh, there are 24 hour day dorm service basic weekly clean service and is assigned first come first served so first you apply to Bocconi then you are in and then you ask for housing. And the really last thing you're gonna do is to pay Bocconi. So you're not paying immediately Bocconi. First you are admitted, you pay just 1,500 euro when you are admitted, 5660, just to be precise. All of the students, no differences between uh, EU, non-EU, fees are exactly the same for all of you. You pay that and then you're gonna pay after tuition fees only after when you are in Bocconi enrolled and uh, attending classes after three months. So, this is very good to know. Uh, how much does it cost to stay in, in a dorm? If I, I don't find, for example, a room on the dorm, how much is the average cost to live in Milan? So if you stay in the dorm, uh, it depends on the dorm and where would you like to stay in a um, shared apartment or alone. Uh, you can pay from 600 until 800 euro per month. Okay. If you stay in the dorm where, uh, uh, which is not super luxury, let's say, uh, mm -hmm. it's about 400 euro per month, but uh, you have uh, all the services in common because don't forget you pay more because you have more services. You are, you are furniture, you have the canteen, you have your kitchen, you have your dining room. If you stay in the dorm uh, with uh, more or less uh, just your room, and the, all the services in common, of course, the cost uh, is less. So it's about from 400 until 800 euro. Living in Milan, it's a little bit uh, um, expensive, but not so much for students. I mean, uh, when we're talking about uh, to rent uh, an apartment, uh, the cost around Bocconi are always the same, which means uh, 800 euro per month or less or more. Of course, because if you want to a big apartment, it's about 1000 euro per, per month, no? but it really depends. Uh, living in Milan in terms of living expenses for a students, thinking that they can have lunch in the canteen, dinner in the canteen, you spend maybe for a pizza, pasta and whatever, like two euros a plate, two euros, three euros only. But of course, if you want to go out every night, <laughs> guys of course uh, the cost uh, it will be much more uh, higher i see and uh, there are uh, it, it's really important for people to know for parents to know how much the cost is uh, okay that's that's how the cost i'll tell you the truth because i'm an employee and uh, i'm working a lot so i'm not used to go out so so often <laughs> unfortunately but uh, uh it, the cost for us uh, as employee as uh, adult let's say are much more expensive comparing to 
students because don't forget that uh, you are in Milan and Milan is famous for the happy hour for the aperitivo where you can eat and drink a lot oops I said drink a lot it's not true but uh, uh, they, they, they can do that just for six five or seven euros and uh, it's a big opportunity for students and don't forget the students they maybe they stay at home all together so they because when they stay in the dorms or they sharing an apartment uh, for example in our dorm we assigned students Italian and international okay so they meet we mix uh, uh, them, them themselves uh, in first of all because of the language so Italians can and help uh, um, international students and vice versa and then Italians are able to cook but I think also Greek people are good in cooking it's, it's the same we do the same Barbara really <laughs> so let's say uh, I'm a freshman and I come to to Bocconi what help do you provide for a newly admitted students that they come to the university now so they come so, I don't know anything I come there so what kind of uh, help do you provide uh, we are in charge as a office a guidance recruitment office uh, in organizing a huge event which is called welcome days mm -hmm. so uh, when a student is admitted uh, even if he's admitted during the early session that usually you got the results one year before to get into Bocconi um, we provide all the information which means we send you newsletters mails please guy read it because sometimes you don't do it and it's a problem okay uh, so uh, so when you arrive we are able to provide you the phone the phone card uh, the canteen card the you don't need a visa so it's not a, such a big problem for you no but thanks god uh, yeah. we we follow you during the study paths. So when you arrive at Bocconi, you say, yes, I'm here. What I have to do? OK, we do pre-courses for languages, for maths. Uh, we guide you. We give you a diary. You have your personal agenda where you will find what to do day by day. And we start with the, the let's say, the, the presentation of your program. You are admitted in economic social sciences. You follow, you met, you meet your classmates, your, pros, your professor. They tell you which type of book you need to download or book or, or buy. So it really depends. So, but the welcome days is the first appointment in order to get uh, seriously in the university. And the, thing, the other thing I wanted to ask you, because you've been in Bocconi for so many years, I want, to, I, I want uh, your uh, estimation of how, uh, how helpful the professors are. If you get stuck or if you have a problem, can you book an appointment and they're going to be there to help you out if you get stuck somewhere? I tell you the truth because I'm there since the, I told you more than 20 years. I remember at the beginning, uh, it was not very well structured. So students uh, as Bocconi is a private university. So everything is very well structured. But uh, day by day, year by year, uh, everything is better and better and better, which means now all the students, they have their personal agenda. That's why I was mentioning you before the agenda where students can set up an appointment with professor. They have a specific in working hours and they go exactly in that day in this time on this time saying okay professor my name is i don't understand anything about maths lessons can you help me there is the program director there will be the assistant of the program director there will be a teacher a professor someone else but everything is very well structured so they never never feel alone i used to say bocon is like a mamba okay <laughs> like i still say i'm a the mama here, so it's the same thing. Like and uh, if I know very well, and I think so, mom, Greek mama, I think uh, uh, they know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know what you mean, thank you. Um, the, um, the other thing is, uh, if I come to Bocconi, what extracurricular activities, what things can I do except studying? Okay, so of course they can have a little bit of fun. That's why, for example, this is one of the dorm on the on the slides you uh, you can see fantastic. now. So this is Very this awesome. is the one. Uh, this is one of our dorm, which is uh, ten minutes walking uh, from uh, the university, and uh, Eva is a vibrant campus. I was telling you about uh, the news about the new sports center uh, that will be inaugurated. Finger crossed. Uh, we don't know. Maybe the springs has to be last year, but of course, of the pandemic wasn't able. And it, there will be a new uh, gym, a new sports center. There will be a field of athletic up into the year. It was built by Japanese architect. So students, uh, employees, everybody can run, for example. They can practice their favorite jobs, uh, their sports. 
they, we're going to do two Olympic swimming pool, for example, and we have more than 90 students association where students, they can have fun. Mm -hmm. So a lot, if you practice sports, if you play piano, if you want to become part of the radio, Bocconi radio, TV, Bocconi TV, uh, you are a, an expert on writing in, in the newspaper and you want to continue in practicing this, please feel free to do it. Bocconi is very academic, it's very serious, but of course you're going to have a lot of fun. And another question that uh, some, uh, some uh, students are asking, uh, what about Italian? Do you, uh, do, do you teach Italian in the university? Can somebody take classes there? Can Italian is compulsory. Okay. Very simple, very simple sentence. Italian is compulsory to, for all the international students, so you have to study. Okay. Full stop. Full stop. Okay, good. So you say, guys, you have to learn Italian now. So you're going to learn another language to add to your CV. No problem. Yes, no problem to study before to come to Bocconi. You study in the meanwhile, you are at Bocconi studying the different subjects. Uh, it's just to survive, of course, in Italy and uh, around. Okay, good. So um, another thing that I wanted to ask you is about the career office and the internships that you offer. From my experience, uh, knowing um, last year's ambassador Harris Ketunis, he secured an internship at uh, HSBC in, in London. So and his, um, his uh, uh, opinion about uh, the internships uh, were, and from what I know, you have one of the biggest forum for companies to meet students or you had before the pandemic. Uh, and uh, this is really interesting. So how does the career office help students get these internships? First of all, all the, all the students, if they're interested in doing an uh, internship when they are enrolled in the second year of, uh, uh, of the whatever program they are attending in Bocconi, they have to refer to them, which means they set up an appointment also with them. They go with their CV, which is good, which is not good. They evaluate the CV. And starting from that point, they are able to tell them, OK, now you are able to find a job. We have a strong connection with all the companies around the world so they can work in their uh, in uh, international companies, Italian companies, or if they have their own contact, they can profit of this and they can be uh, like a stage, like an internship. So um, as I'm here helping you in order to find your way uh, and guidance you, which is the best program, which is the best things, which is the right SAT score to get into Bocconi, their job is to help you to find a job. That's why I was showing you before 95% of our students find a job in less than three weeks. And I wanted to ask something else and correct me if, uh, correct me if uh, I'm mistaken. I remember from Harry telling me that when he did the internship, this uh, counted as credits towards his uh, diploma. Correct. Yes, that's correct, because uh, um, that's why it was, again, a good point. I was underlined that uh, uh, the exchange program as well and the career opportunities. One, uh, I mean, each other count, counts one point on the thesis when you have to be graduated. Of course, you have to choose one. If you do both, uh, you have to choose one. It's just one credit, okay? So Harry was telling you exactly. So it's one point which is important for the thesis and it's important for your personal careers and for the future. And uh, just uh, to let you know, guys, how good Bocconi is, uh, Harry that we're talking about, uh, he's doing his master uh, in management now in, in SEAD, uh, which is uh, just started off the program. But because of all the things that he did at Bocconi, he had uh, an extraordinary uh, uh, CV. So he got accepted by, uh, by one of the top universities uh, and the top programs which just started out. So uh, another thing I want to ask you, Barbara, is about the exchange program. Programs. What universities can uh, they do the exchange program or the summer program or whatever? So the exchange program is in partnership with 282. So I don't remember all of them, but okay, I have to yes, tell you the. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but no, I have no, to tell no. no, no, no. But I have to tell you the truth. We are partnership with the most important universities around the world, like say NYU, NYU Abu Dhabi. So the two campuses, for example, Princeton, Wharton, uh, Yale. 
uh, of course, to go to this university, you have to go, you have to have a very good GPA guys at the university because there are very few spots there. But otherwise, you can go everywhere in Europe, uh, in Paris, uh, in Lisbon, uh, in Spain, uh, with uh, ESADE in Barcelona, for example, Erasmus Rotterdam, uh, where we have, for example, different jo joint degree and double degree at the master level. You can go to the Norwegian, to the to, uh, Stockholm School of Economics, uh, you can go to either about in India, you can go to Australia, um, a lot, a lot. The, the, the list is published on the website. I see. And the other thing I wanted to ask you, if I, if I do my exchange program at Princeton, how much do I pay? Do I have to pay some fees for Princeton or is uh, it included in what I pay or I have to pay more? That's a good question. Well, which I'm not able to answer. I tell you the truth. Uh, what I know, I'm sorry for that. So I'm totally okay. unprepared about, about it. Uh, <laughs> I, what I learned during this year, for example, you pay for sure the flight to go everywhere. Okay. And uh, the, it depends on the university. Some universities' uh, uh, fees are including in the exchange. So you're not paying uh, a fees, okay, specific mm -hmm. fees. My, maybe you pay a difference for the door over there okay or for example if i remember uh, i'm quite sure about it uh, if you go to brazil you need to uh, follow a course in portuguese before going there so which means you have to pay a course for uh, portuguese mm -hmm. okay anyways uh, you know if you have more questions uh, there is a link in the reminder that we have sent you the reminder for the zoom today there mm -hmm. is a link where you can you can uh, you, you, it's good for you to register and you can ask all the questions, or more specific questions that you have. And another thing that I wanted uh, uh, to ask you is, or to tell uh, the people who are listening to us, our audience, uh, that when you do the world program in three different universities, you pay what? You pay the tuition fees of the university where are you going, which means you pay the first installment to United States or to LA, LA so mm -hmm. at the University of Southern California, which is about 60,000 US dollar. I'm telling you already the price, uh, tuition fees and dorms mm -hmm. together. Then if you go, when you go to Hong Kong, you pay two, uh, 20,000 euro, okay, already exchange in euros. And uh, when you are at Bocconi, it's uh, 25,000 uh, 25, euros. When you study the, the last year, it depends where you pay the same tuition fees. So which means if you go to United States, uh, come on, the price is uh, it's, uh, very expensive, high. Oh, high, high and so expensive. Of I course, see. we give you a scholarship also for the World Bachelor in Business are able to cover 50% or a quarter of the cost, eh? tuition fees and dorms. I see. And uh, because I see some people are asking if, um, if uh, there is a minimum IB score uh, to get admitted and, uh, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, that there is no minimum and no maximum, but it, it's, it's a matter of competition, isn't it? Am I wrong in that? No, correct. Correct. This is a good explanation. Uh, usually, a, a typical student coming from the IB is about uh, 33, no less than, of course, uh, 36. It's easy. Six subjects per six, uh, 36 yeah. guys. That's okay. a max. The, so, you know that. So, you can, uh, it, it's, a com it's competitive. Uh, you have to remember that uh, the, the better you are, the more chances you have to be accepted. And it's the same for the SAT. The better your score, the more chances of your being accepted. I you see Barrios is asking, can you apply only with the IB diploma? Only no. Uh, you can apply only with school reports. And then, of course, you have to show us your, your IB diploma. Uh, what's it's considered a competitive a competitive SAT score uh, starting from 1350 1360 guys so do your best do your best because the higher it's the better we said uh, so you have to work really hard if you want uh, really to go to Bocconi what uh, nationalities uh, are in in the student body we have students coming from United States Canada South America South America in particular means uh, from Brazil Venezuela, Costa Rica, and then if we move to Europe everywhere, 
all the countries in Europe uh, without distinction. And then uh, uh, we have students coming from Emirates, Turkey, if we count Turkey in the Middle East. Uh, then uh, we have students coming from Mar uh, Morocco, Tunisia, northern part of Africa. Uh, and that's Africa. And then we have students coming from China. So Asia is China and Southeast Asia, Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, and so on. So it's a really multi, uh, multinational, multi, multi cultural, everything, multicultural, everything. So if, uh, if you were a student uh, at uh, Bocconi, what is, what would you say is the best thing about Bocconi? Let's assume that you're a student there. What would you say to me and say, Pepe, come to Bocconi because at Bocconi you'll do what? Exactly for the five reasons you can see on the slide. But okay. let me tell you that in my experience, uh, uh, okay, so is uh, one of the top five business schools in Europe, a global network, international partnership companies, uh, multicultural. But mm -hmm. my personal opinion is because I never changed the job, you know, because working in international environment, I have a lot of colleagues from other universities, they change the job after two, three years because I need another experience. I don't need that. I mean, at the moment, until now, because Bocconi is very dynamic university. It's very, if you are committed, if you really like to live there, if you really like to live there, I tell you, because uh, normally I stay in the office until very late, starting from uh, the beginning in the night. So I think uh, you're gonna have a lot of advantages living on campus and the campus is downtown. So that's make the difference. So you are not far from Milan. So you commute, you back and forth. I think uh, be international, and living on campus help you to find a way. And then, as you said, una faccia una razza. Yes, this is <laughs> una faccia una razza, yes, as you said. Anyways, I wanted also to just uh, a small question about the, the program that you can get into Bocconi, but to get out with a, a good a GPA and the GPA is out of 30, you know? So to get a 27, 28 is not an easy fit. It's not something easily done, isn't it? So, and correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I don't wanna, I don't wanna lie to you. I, it's of course having 26, 28 in, 28 in Italy in general, in whatever universities that you want to study, it's, uh, it's quite uh, difficult and very important. But of course, if you want to, to be the first one, if you want to have a very good uh, job position, you have to do your best at the university. Of course, if you have 24, 25, maybe it's because you're gonna have some problem with some subjects, but it's not impossible to find a job later. It's not impossible to do a master somewhere else maybe in Bocconi not I tell you the truth because the, DGP, the GPA is very low uh, but uh, nothing is impossible in my opinion so it's not easy but not impossible so be prepared when you choose Bocconi that you have to go and study and from my experience from my students that have been there for many years what they tell me is that uh, we're at Milan Miss Pepe but the only place that we know is the library but this is this comes from students that they were used to going out and having a lot of fun but because they realize because they keep telling them it's not uh, the university when you get into universities because it's what you're going to do at the university what the GPA you're going to graduate because this will open the masters afterwards so you have to do really well so instilling this knowledge into my students, they go there and they do study. I'm very happy for that. And I, I've never, I, I, and talking to my students until now, nobody complained about anything. So in order to rec recapitulate, because I know Barbara has other things to do also, uh, uh, I think that uh, what you uh, understood is that you can apply with either the Greek uh, Lyceum Apolitirion, as long as you sit for the Panhellenics, because you need a, the VOC for the Italian ministry to give you uh, access to study there. And then uh, as, uh, as far as the other diplomas are concerned, it's the IB, it's the Abitur, whatever you're doing. But whatever you do, it, keep in mind that you have to do the best. Don't uh, check the, the size that they say, oh, you need uh, to have 13, 15, the SAT. It's good to have 13, 15, the SAT. But if uh, 20 other students have uh, 14, 15, they will be accepted if their profile is uh, better. So it's a competitive university. So you have to keep that in mind to do your best in everything that you do and also to have a profile to show your interest in what you're doing. And this is why we're here to answer all uh, your questions at CLC, I mean. Um, I, we are here to answer all your questions. And of course, uh, as, as I said before, 
uh, in the reminder zoom that we have sent you. Um, we um, have sent you a link where you can register and then you can ask questions uh, to the admission office because they are there to help you out and clarify everything. And also uh, the application deadlines, very, very, uh, very, very important. Yes, uh, tell us about that. Yes, let me finish with three points, Pepe, if I can. So okay. first with the application uh, application timeline. So if you guys are enrolled in the 11th grade, which is the second to last year of education, which means one more year to go before the graduation, you can apply with the early session. We'll be open the application from mid of April until early June. Uh, just in case you are enrolled in the last year of education, there is one more session uh, still open, uh, which is uh, the spring session. OK, so you can apply. And uh, if you are just uh, on the 10th grade, uh, thinking that in general, you have free opportunities and also for 11 graders, you have free opportunities in order to apply to Bocconi. If you fail the early session, you can reapply to the winter session. If you fail also the winter session, you can, you can reapply to the spring session. So free opportunities. La two, the two last things and then uh, I go to, oh, sorry. Okay. I go to the to the other meeting. We have the Pocconi Social, so you can find us, of course, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. The open the next open day in order to learn more about the content of the program. I was mentioning to you is the May is May 2021st. It will be 22 of May, 22nd of May for the open day. But of course, Pepe, Miss Pepe will be informed about it. And for those who are enrolled in grade 10 and 11, you can participate also at our summer school, which is a unique opportunity. It will be virtual also this year. So you can register. The application is already online and you can participate uh, uh, at the summer school choosing different labs, fashion, entrepreneurship, numbers, game theory, finance, whatever you are interested in. One week you study and you discover the teaching methods with our professor. Eskaristo. Ah, uh, Eskaristo. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie. Yes, we'll speak. You will speak Greek. I will speak uh, Italian. Barbara, it was a pleasure as as always to see you. And uh, thank you so much uh, for giving us all this information. I'm sure the parents and the students really enjoyed it. They learned things. Uh, we clarified uh, many things now. And uh, as I said before, just uh, uh, register in the link. Uh, so whatever questions you have, then you direct either to the uh, to the admission office and the other thing is of course we are here to answer uh, all the questions that you have because i know you me. have classes and email me. barbara email barbara because she is here to help you out uh, and she's always willing and there for all of you so thank you very much barbara <laughs>